Yo, what's going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. You guys have asked me a lot. Nick, what does your look like campaigns look like? I'm like, what? <laughs> I run them exactly the way I do an interest campaign and stuff, but I thought I'd make a video for you guys and literally show you step by step me creating a campaign, me creating a look like audience, why I chose this look like audience and what you should look out for when creating look like audience campaigns and stuff and exactly how to test it and then scale it up. So that being said, let's jump into this before we get started make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button for new videos every monday wednesday friday and yeah guys let's get started okay so diving into the ad account um first things first i'm just gonna hit create and we're gonna create a whole new campaign we'll do conversions always name your campaign agency initials this will be a tofu campaign so uh, top of funnel and this will be a test audience testing and website conversions and it'll be abo name this ad set we're gonna call this or we're not gonna actually edit we're not even gonna name that just yet we're just gonna hit continue and we're gonna leave cbo off because we want to do an actual like specific test to see if we spend exact amount for all of these ad sets which one will yield the best results so now we're inside here what we're going to do is we're going to set the daily budget to i recommend two x your average cost per purchase you can also do one x so anywhere from one to two x your average cost per purchase so i'll just do ten dollars a day for right here because let's just say for example you don't even know what your cost per purchase is then here we go let's just do ten dollars a day to start off with and we're going to create a custom audience we're going to go website so there's a few different look like audiences, in fact, that you can actually create. You can do social engagement. So like Instagram engagement, Facebook engagement works super well. Video views work really well as well. And then you can do different website actions and then you can also upload a customer list. So what I recommend doing is if you don't have any purchases yet, add to cart yet, I recommend doing more social engagement look like audiences. So Instagram engagement, 30 days, Facebook engagement, 30 days, um, video views, 30 days of your main performing ad. And then if you have a lot of purchases, um, then go for more uh, purchase look like audience, add to cards, initiate checkout. My standard is I want at least a hundred events of a specific action that I'm creating a look like audience based off within the time period that I'm optimizing for. So if I create a 30 day purchase audience and we're getting 90 purchases within a 30 day period, I wanna go for maybe a 60 day period where I know we're getting at least 100. So just for example, that's how we set the time frames of which we're creating look like audiences. So, so let's just do a standard like website visitors look like audience for this specific one. So all website visitors, I know we're getting at least 200, 300 website visitors every day. I would never do a one or two a day unless I'm doing like Black Friday, but I would do a seven day and then I would also do a 30 day. So I'm just gonna do a 30 day for this one and I like to name it my initials. I'm just gonna do website visitors, 30 30 days and then also to most want to put this for youtube example and then we create audience so you need to create a custom audience first before you can create a look like audience so whatever custom whatever look like audience you want to create you got to create a custom audience first of it so now hey your audience custom audience is created now it literally gives you the option now of what you want to do next and we want to create a look like audience we just want to go straight to it and have a variation and then you'll see some stuff right here one percent two percent three percent four percent all up to ten percent starting out you want to do a one percent and then as you outgrow that one percent you want to start going up to higher percentages to better scale the ad account and we'll get to get to that in, ex in a second exactly so i'm gonna say create audience for this and then there we go we got our look like audience in it and your reach may be low because it hasn't had time yet to populate so it takes a little time to populate before you can still use it but you still may take some time to populate and stuff and grow in there so now we want to exclude some audiences because this is a cold audience ad i like to exclude some custom audiences so let me do custom audience and i want to exclude i literally want to exclude website visitors 30 days because i don't want anyone who's visited the website in the last 30 days to be my cold audience i also want to exclude purchase 30 i want to exclude ig engagement 30 and then i want to exclude facebook engagement 30. so the reason we exclude these is because i want all my warm audiences hot and even past buyers not to see my new ads i want it to be going to purely cold ads and just because i excluded a website visitors 30 day custom audience and i'm running a look like based off that custom audience that does not mean it won't run all that's going to mean is we've created a look like of 2.1 million people of this specific custom audience right here and i don't want anyone that's in that audience right now to be included in that people so that way we're 
purely cold people. Now I'm just gonna leave this targeting right here. Um, I, generally when I'm running a look like audience, I don't change any of the targeting. And then detail targeting expansion, you can turn that off or look like expansion, leave that off for right now. And then you can leave placements on automatic and stuff. And then we're just gonna title this. Let's just grab the, the name for it, Roll C. And then I'm just gonna title it like that so and then let's just create an ad real quick super quick let's just use existing posts see what pops up let's do ads posts i'm just gonna use this obviously i would normally go ahead and create like an ad and stuff usually but just to save time for this video i'm just gonna do that select the domain you gotta make sure all your stuff set up and cool that looks good and then I'm just going to name this ad number one. You know, you can do ad number one, carousel, whatever. We have specific naming conventions we use inside the agency. I just don't want to share them on this specific video. It's for another time and I don't want to confuse you guys. So we're just going to hit publish on that now. Now that we got our ad in there, I recommend at least doing two to three ads inside of here. But again, just for purposes of this video, we want to make it do simple. We're going to hit publish on that and then go back to our ad sets right here. And now what we want to do is we want to test more lookalikes because all we did was create a website visitors 30 day look like there's other look likes we can create for this specific account so what i like to do is just go click on this ad set and hit Control d maybe even command d if you're on um pc not really too sure i'm on mac so now we want to do is is you'll notice when we do that all we did was duplicate it which is really good we want that and we want to remove our existing look like we want to create a new custom audience and let's say we let's do a video just for showcase for you guys content type let's do at least 75 percent if you have like a five minute long video you're running as a facebook ads obviously you're gonna do like 10 seconds but we have a video we're running for 30 seconds it's performing really well for this account so again you need to make sure you're getting at least 100 views within the time frame and honestly i wouldn't even bother creating a video view custom audience at least i had like 10,000 or 5,000 video views so i'm gonna choose video i need to go right here i need to type in the exact count or exact page and then i have one right here we have 641,000 views on it hit that's the one that our main ads are running so i want to create a video view custom audience of that specific video and i want to do the last 30 days because i want fresh data so generally a rule of thumb you can do seven days if you're getting enough conversions to that seven day window 30 days is pretty much the standard it's worked really well um a pretty consistent one but then 180 day has been kind of okay uh because you're getting longer data periods and sometimes just those buyers aren't in the market anymore and in fact honestly let's just do a seven day just for shits and gigs for you guys show you kind of exactly different ways you can go about it again same thing 75 percent are watched mother's day so watch mother's day video because that's the video in this particular one 75 percent plus and we'll do uh seven days youtube example <laughs> create audience and want to create a look like audience make sure you have your location in there and we'll do a one percent as well again and the reason why i excluded that customer or removed that custom audience because we don't want the custom audience to be included in the look like because we're, we're going after a look like we're not going after a custom audience so and i'm not putting video views in here because these are my warm audiences i want to exclude so that's why we did this a little different and then again i'm gonna copy this and just paste it up here and then publish so what you can do is you can do video view percent you can go ahead and do an ig engagement one a facebook engagement one website visitors want add to cart purchase if you really want to hit a few of them and do 730 maybe a 90 or 180 just depending on how often you get those 100 events of each one so let's just say i did five of them now what do you do you essentially want to run these now for 72 hours that's the key 72 hours maybe even a week just depending on how how often you get your purchases and stuff you want to run them for a few days and then you want to pick out the winners so let's say for example we run this for a few days and you know just hop back on here let's say we run this for you know seven days and the website visitors one performs the best and all we'll do is we'll turn that one off we'll turn off the op the ones that didn't perform but that what visitors one performed the best so now what we want to do is we want to just leave this alone and we want to duplicate this ad set into a new campaign do a cbo and do say 100 bucks or 500 bucks a day and start scaling it just depending on your risk tolerance and stuff and your product and stuff like that of how quickly you can scale and you want to start scaling up and, and let's say if you have two or three best performing lookalikes in this specific ad set right here or in this campaign right here then you want to duplicate those into that cbo so you have one cbo which are best performing lookalike audiences at a minimum of 100 bucks a day to say 300 bucks a day now here's the next step which you 
you want to do is let's say website visitors 30 days continues to perform you scaling that cbo up and website visitors 30 days continuously performs good over and over and over now we need to start increasing that lookalike percentage because what's going to happen is you're going to burn through that 2.1 million people that's inside of this specific audience so there's a few different ways you can do it my favorite honestly is just to go and duplicate this and create a, a 3% a 5% and a 10% variation of this specific look like so what's going to happen is what you're going to do is you're going to Control D, just like you did. And we're gonna create a whole new one and we're gonna remove this one. We're gonna do create a lookalike audience because we already have the custom audience uh, set up. And I think it was what website visitors do other sources, website visitors, YouTube example. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna try, uh, we're leaving out one, but we're gonna try a say a 3%. So we'll create that audience. I'm gonna just simply copy that, go up here, paste it. Now I'm gonna hit Control D again to duplicate this one. Go down, create new. I'm gonna remove that, create new look like audience. And then what I wanna do is go to, I think it's what, YouTube example, website visitors. Let's see if it pops up, there we go. Custom audience, and then we'll do 5%. Now we will have a little bit of auction overlap with this because a 1%, a 3%, a 5% is gonna have, you know, your 5% is gonna enclose your your one and 3%, your, your, one, your zero through 3%. Your 3% is gonna enclose your zero through 3%. So your 1% and 3% is gonna overlap, your 1% through your 5% is gonna overlap. Like they're all gonna overlap a little bit, but it's okay. So we're not scaling all three at once. We're just trying to test the three real quick and then we're gonna we're gonna start scaling the winner. So great audience, publish. Now I would also do the, t the um, or I forgot to copy my name, but I would also do the 10% right here. So we have one, three, five, 10. We already scaled the one, so we'll just be testing three, five, 10. You could also maybe do three, five, seven, and 10. We just have a few different variations. But what happens is you'll notice when we start scaling up or we start doing these higher percentage lookalike audiences, we're going to start increasing the amount of people that's inside each one. So a 5% will have like 11 million people in it, whereas a 1% will have 2.1 million people. So the more you scale up the lookalike audience, the more people in it, higher percentages yields, you know, further scalability with particular creatives, ad sets and stuff like that. So that's how, that's why like when a lookalike audience stops performing, sometimes it's just because we've cutched everyone in there and 2.1 million people won't get you far at all. You know, we're trying to go to 10% as quick as possible as, as long as, you know, as we keep scaling up and stuff. And I've also seen it where you test one, three, five, seven, and 10 all at once. And a 10% right out the gate will outperform all of them. So it's not like you have to go one to two, then two to three, two, three to four. Sometimes it can be one, than 10%. It, it won't always be just right then and there. So that's just a quick example too as well of you know how that works specifically. So, but once you create these, these other higher percentages, you wanna run the same thing, run them for a few days, test them, and then duplicate the winners into your CBO scaling campaign. And you just wanna keep building up that CBO campaign, can, scaling campaign with a few thousand dollars a day of budget, your best performing audiences and your best performing creatives. So that's kind of like my lookalike audience strategy. I literally do this exact same thing for interest. It's exactly the same if you're trying to replicate those results as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are a Shopify business owner and you're looking to scale your business, maybe hit your first 200K in a month or 300K in a month, you're roughly doing 25 to 50K a month or more right now, then make sure you click the link below to book a discovery call with me where we'll kind of audit your ad account and give you the best advice of what you can to keep scaling your business and figure out where your bottlenecks are at right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos just like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So guys, it's about that time. Again, my name is Nick Terrio. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.